Yo, everybody, this is Darren Redmond for Redmond's Wrap-Up Monday, October 22nd. I want to talk to you today about Fresno State football and why that stadium is not sold out, and it should be. We're not looking to point fingers, and everybody's going to want to get up in arms and defend this or defend that. I've been involved in sports as a player in college, as a coach in college, for quite a bit of time covering sports and for being a season ticket holder in both the pro and collegiate level. There's a lot of variables and there's a lot of excuses that people are going to give you. And some of them have merit, but most of them do not. I want to factor in three or four things that I see as the major variables as to why that stadium is not sold out and it should be. Fresno State 6-1 and one plays Hawaii this week for the homecoming. My hope is that you will be there, sell that place out. But let's look at the top four reasons why Fresno State football is not being sold out and it has nothing to do with the weather. One, hubris. Just because you build it, they will come. Works really well on a nice movie about baseball when James Earl Jones is saying it, but it's not the truth. You cannot market with hubris. You cannot, over the last couple of years, and by the way, the athletic department this year, I think, is doing a phenomenal job. But your interaction with your fan base cannot be, wear your black shirt today, blackout, or today we're going to do a whiteout, and just pat people on the head and hope that they show up. That might make sense in a classroom, but as somebody who's been involved in media for over 25 years, it is not surprising that people stayed away in droves. Look at the fancy new flash I'm using. Terrible. Terrible. We need to interact better with the community at hand and let them feel inclusive. Coach Tedford does a wonderful job with his players. Asking questions or answering questions that are asked of them and letting them know that this has nothing to do with trying to sell a t-shirt and everything to do with get to know the player. Get to know the person on the field. Because when you're talking about football and you're talking about a sport like hockey, for example, they're wearing helmets. Get to see these people. Get to understand who they are. Get the background of these people. A horrible job being done by many people who are just either well-meaning or full of hubris, not understanding that the reason that attendance goes down is because we're not interacting with the community and letting them know that this is their team. Unless you say, this is your team, support them, you're in the Valley too. And talk to them like, like a petulant child is being uh, admonished. Shameful. Second is the fact that it's not covered very well. It's not. You know, there is no red rope around Bulldog Stadium. And the people that get in and who has the bigger camera, who has this or that, and then you look in a, you know, in, in a medium that is struggling to survive, who then goes online, and then you gotta kinda pay to see what's there. I'm sorry, it's, it's just gonna be ignored. People are gonna go look other places. What's the interaction? Are they at the press conferences? Are they there at the practices? If they're not, invite them in. Competition is a good thing. Invite other people in to cover your sport and to interact and bring people in. The old boy network should be dead and buried because all the old boy network is getting is more and more seats that are empty. Third, cost. Parking has been uh, improved recently in a couple years at Bulldog Stadium. Used to have a $99 plan to fill up those end zone seats. People loved it. But it's kind of pricey right now. And what is the ROI? Are you not making money? Because again, long-term goals beat short. I feel like I'm at Chase Stadium with the airplanes. Long-term goals beat short-term gains. So if you're going to ask for a premium price or somewhat of a premium price, what are you basing it on? A profit margin of if we get 33,000 people in here? Or how about making it a little less, giving somebody incentive, and um, you know, maybe giving them a, a price off of parking or whatever. Fill the place up, full-throated, so it becomes really the 12th man. You know, Coach Tedford, again, I'm a huge fan of. He does things right. 
you know, he said something uh, a couple of weeks ago during a press conference, and we covered it, we can show the video, that they asked, they wanted people to say, hey, the crowd was great. He said, no, I heard louder. You know, I've heard this place louder. Well, let's make it louder this coming, uh, you know, Saturday against Hawaii. And the last reason, and uh, we at FHD Sports have interviewed well over 100 people of different demographic backgrounds as to why they're not going to the games. And you might not get this from, um, you know, the, the traditional uh, media or from the friends of the friends who, you know, uh, occupy certain areas. They're disappointed. They're disappointed. Anytime, anywhere meant occasionally try to win or win. But every time we played Hawaii, we lost. Most of the time, up until recently, against Boise, we lost. People are still stung from a couple of years ago. All we needed to do was beat San Jose on the road, and we would have had a major bowl game. And instead, we just laid a big egg. And people are just tired of being disappointed by this team. Now, you could say, well, you can't hold last year against this year, and look what they're doing this year. It takes time. You have to invite them back. But again, what is your social media interaction? that doesn't have a price tag of buy another t-shirt on it. This team is a really good team. This team should have been a top 25 team this week in the polls. Explain the polls. Explain how, you know, decisions are made. Explain that right now they really only have three bowls that they could possibly go to. And that's not a bad thing. But every year it's going to be Hawaii or it's going to be up in Boise or maybe Vegas, rah, rah. We're bowl eligible. We won six. You have an intelligent marketplace here. Don't treat it like it's dumb. They understand the NCAA. They understand the Mountain West. They understand the teams that used to be in the Mountain West are no longer in the Mountain West. Treat the fans with a little more respect. Tedford is doing a great job with that. You're six and one, this is a great season. Could have been seven and oh. But a lot of people feel disappointed from a couple of years ago that we had a chance to go to a major bowl game and once again we'll let down like we were let down when Hawaii came in a couple of years ago as well fell short you know and anybody can go anywhere collect the money and take a beating this team has a wonderful future ahead of it with Tedford at, at, at the helm my hope is that people come because this is a great team to see so you can't hold them accountable for what happened in the past see this team but if you wonder why people aren't coming yet, those are your top reasons why. This is Darren Redman from Redman's Wrap-Up. If you don't agree with me, let's have an intelligent conversation online about it. And please bring your facts. Because you're, you're entitled to your own opinion. You're not entitled to your own facts. And these are facts. But be ready to hear something back. Because I want to see that stadium full. There's no reason why it shouldn't be. This is Darren Redman from Redman's Wrap-Up. Please, you know, post, subscribe, share from FHD Sports.